Prepare to explore. Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. On air, online and on your smart speaker. Pandora Jewelry, available exclusively in Mount Gambier at Henry Post Jewelers. SAFM News Briefing. Hello, I'm Alicia McFarlane. The Foreign Minister says the agreed ceasefire between Israel and Hamas is an important and necessary step. At least 50 people kidnapped by Hamas are set to be freed during the five-day pause. But Penny Wong says the war isn't over yet. What we must ultimately work towards is a long-term enduring peace. And a long-term enduring peace requires a two-state solution. Uh, with Israelis and Palestinians living securely and prosperously within internationally recognised borders. The minister has also revealed another 67 individuals, including Australians, have fled war-ridden Gaza overnight. Lives and homes are under threat in Perth South as an emergency level bushfire forces the evacuation of a nearby school. The blaze in Auburn Grove has also led to the closure of a major freeway. It says Perth swelters through a week long heat wave with the mercury hitting 39 today. Human remains have been found as police continue to investigate Sunday's plane crash in Melbourne. Pilot Stephen Gale and cameraman James Rose were on board the jet when it crashed after colliding with another plane it had been flying in formation with. Half a billion dollars will go towards the fight against cybercrime. The Home Affairs Minister announcing a seven-year blueprint which the government hopes will make Australia a world leader in cybersecurity by 2030. Claire O'Neill says the past few years of attacks have shown we have a desperate need for cyber resilience. For a small business, a cyber attack can be automatically fatal and we need to do more to support them. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max taste challenge. In sport, Chad Wingard has been redrafted by Hawthorne after a stint on the delisted free agency list, while the Suns have re-signed delisted Sam Day to their primary list, providing depth in the attacking department. St Kilda has added pace and dash by drafting Riley Bonner, who was delisted by Port. And Fremantle and West Coast are seeking reforms to the AFL's academy structure after failing to secure local talents. The clubs were unable to match bids on Mitch Edwards and Lance Collard, who were drafted by Geelong and St Kilda. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, one and done. This is SAFM weather. Today on the limestone coast, mostly sunny with a low of 10 and a top of 21. Tomorrow, mostly sunny with a low of 10 and a high of 25. Tune in to Maggie Dent's new podcast for the Dad's Guide to Nailing It. Download the Listener app and search the Good Enough Dad to Listen. <laughs>